Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the Kawasaki Vulcan 800 Classic. Uh, this model here, a 2005. Um, we're gonna take this thing. Happy Friday once again. Uh, let's go for a rip. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday. Oh man, it's like <laughs> just all bottom and dark. Um, uh, you know what? I got a habit of cutting through alleys, dodging red lights. You know, I got a habit of, I have a habit of standing up on the bikes whenever I go over bumps and, uh, you know, rough terrain. Uh, but this bike, you're uh, not intended to do that. I just get a habit. I want to do it, right? I want to stand up, but that's not how this bike is to be ridden. With the foot brakes way in front of you, uh, pretty much directly under the handlebars. Uh, you'd be in an awkward position if you tried to stand up and go over rough terrain on this. But luckily enough, the suspension on this bike is good enough that you're not going to need to stand up. It's going to be a soft, cushy ride, or even manhole covers, and you know, curbs even, if you, do, if you do decide to jump them. <laughs> Maybe we'll try that later. Well, you know, the tires on cruisers, uh, they're not that bad, you know, for uh, messy conditions or whatever. I have uh, Bridgestone Excedras on this bike. Uh, they behave surprisingly well, you know. I'm, I'm quite surprised with how they how they uh, hold up in the snow, and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to see that later too. But yeah, so uh, here we are. It's Friday, and uh, it's a happy day. Happy day. I don't know if that's true, but we'll see what we can do about it. Man, so here's the tip for uh, you guys riding in cold weather. Uh, don't dress to the point where you're going to start sweating in the first 10 minutes that you, that you get off the bike. Because when you get back on the bike, you're going to be kind of cold. Wish you weren't sweating. But I'm sure that's a quick little lesson. That we all learn how to, uh, how to dress and prepare for the conditions that we're in. As far as uh, the clothing and everything that I'm going, it's, uh, I just wear, uh, I just layer up. You know, none of my gear is heated or anything. I uh, just layer on layer on layer. <laughs> so here we come uh, up to the shell station. Uh, I don't remember how much fuel is in the tank and I got no gauge to tell me. So we're going to pull it there, throw a couple bucks in the tank, get myself something to eat, nibble on, some drink, get our day going the right way. The second gear goes for days in this bike. Well, here we are, uh, departing the shell station. This thing's filthy. I got three bucks in that tank. Oh, that should get me through the day. Okay, here we are down at uh, 22X on the south leg of McLeod Trail on our way to bridge number five today. I know typically I'm taking you to number two or 19 or 11 or, <laughs> well, I guess today it's number five, so. I took this bike today just because I can. You know, it's three degrees, or like, you know, zero to three degrees Celsius here today, or it will be. So, looking like a nice day. Uh, it'll be a wet afternoon, I'm sure, on the roads. Ooh, ah, the back way in. It's always the most fun. But here we are in the snow again with these Bridgestone Excedras. Uh, I mean, the weight of the machine itself is holding it in a line. It's not an easy bike to fall out of a line, but it's an easy one to catch, I guess, what it does. It's not that bad. It is a lot of weight to try and catch, but it holds the line pretty good. Time to go home. Let's go have a weekend, baby. Oh, tighten up these shoulder straps first. Messy bike. Messy bike. Dude. 
Dirty bag. Dirty bag. and gentlemen we're making our way back downtown uh, it's Friday so I'm definitely looking forward to a little chill out and relax time with the puppy not too many uh, plans for the weekend but uh, the weather is looking up you know it's hanging around zero we're out of that cold snap we might get a few more dumps of snow before the winter's over but uh, what are we gonna get a couple weeks of summer and then we're back into the winter again as usual 